What's up everyone? Chance here with Missouri Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you my ginseng pen. I ordered these seeds offline like oh three and a half years ago now and this is what's come up. These have came up like some of them have come up this will make the third third or fourth time they've come up now but you can see the little building I've got here for them just a little shed out in the woods kinda but that's what they look like I got a little small one and a nice three prong plant then we got a two prong plant another three prong plant And then we got three more three-prong plants, but these two are kind of small. And I'm not sure, but that might be the start of one right there. The rest of the side of this is pretty much empty. I haven't, I didn't have enough seeds to plant in that, and I actually germinated all these in cups. And then transplanted them in here after I got this thing built. I think it provides too much shade, so I may try to redo this roof a little bit this year and open it up for more light. But alright, I figured I'd just show them to you as of today. I'm going to do probably short videos over the next couple weeks or so, just so you kind of get an idea of what they look like as they grow. Here's our horses. They come up here to apparently conversate with me this morning. But alright. That'll probably do it for now. I'll give you guys an update here in the next week or so. <clears throat> What's up everyone? chance here with Missouri Outdoors. We're back up here at my ginseng pen. Give you a look at them guys. They're doing actually pretty good. Starting to really get some growth on them in the last few days. But that's not what this video is necessarily about. We're actually going to take this empty end of the pen here I got some morel mushrooms I picked yesterday and me and my buddy Ethan went turkey hunting and I left them in my truck which was a very bad idea because now they kind of spoiled a little bit and they smell real sour and they're basically turning to mush <laughs> So I'm going to take this and just kind of loosen the soil and the leaves up. I'll actually probably pull the leaves back and then loosen the soil up. That way I can put the leaves back over it. But we're going to go ahead and do all that and see if in a year or two if it doesn't work. And maybe we can grow mushrooms right in here with the ginseng. I don't think that will affect the ginseng. I sure hope not, but planting it this far on the end of the bed, it might not hurt it. I guess we'll find out. But alright, I'm going to get the camera set up and we will start the process. So stay tuned. Gotta be careful not to hurt any of the ginseng plants. All right. Just 
kind of break this up a little bit. You can probably tell that it's pretty loose already and it's not very hard. That's because you got to have a really well draining soil or growing medium or whatever you want to call it in order for these uh, ginseng plants to have proper drainage when they grow. But all right, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna basically just dump them down about two or three inches. Oh yeah. Kinda of just chop them up, separate them out. Just kinda of work them in a little bit and hopefully those spores are still good and take hold. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated on it. We may come up here in a month or so and check it and just see if the mycelium is starting to form. With any luck, it will. Just cover it right back up. Put the dirt back in. Kind of kick it over with my boot. Kind of tap it back down into place. And then we'll put the leaf litter right back over the top. That'll help hold in the moisture. <clears throat> and hopefully, this little experiment will prove successful. that's a new ginseng plant or not but it might be but all right that's probably going to do it for this right here i'm probably going to throw this in another video where i show you me making my new morel slurry batch that I keep in my canning jars until mycelium starts to form. But that should be coming up soon. I'll probably do that project in the next day or so and I'll make sure to film me doing it. So make sure to stay tuned for that and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the updates on this. Keep in mind that it'll probably take it six months to show us any kind of result at all and it won't produce mushrooms till at least next spring we'll see what happens with it all right guys it's been about a week or so I'll show you guys the ginseng plants. I can confirm that I'm like 99% sure that is a plant. I believe that's one of the extra seeds I planted last year or the year before. Same with that one. <clears throat> I think these have been in there three or four years now. And last year, I actually took, I think, this plant and that plant over there produced a couple little seeds last year that I think I planted on the other side of those, too, because those were planted the year before. a nice view of them but the way to tell ginseng in the wild is you'll see right here
This is a perfect example. See how the... If I can get my hand in there. See how the leaf sets all come off at the same point? That's very important when identifying a ginseng plant. Because there's a lot of plants out there that will have that same leaf set. But where they come off will be staggered away from each other. A ginseng plant comes off at the same point. And you see that little green thing coming up? That's where the seeds will develop. It'll kind of look like a red raspberry almost when it's done. And each little bitty red pod of the berry has two seeds in it usually. Sometimes there's only one, but most of the time there's two. And there could be anywhere from one little red pod to 20 or 30 probably. I think part of the problem is it's not getting enough moisture in the middle of it. That's why the middle plants are smaller. Because believe it or not, the two-prong plant there and those two smaller ones are the same age as these. But the ones on the edge of the pen grow much better. That's why I think I need to open up the roof a little bit more. It's giving me the proper shade I need, but it's not giving me adequate water, I don't think. But alright, that's probably going to do it for this little update. I may take another one in a few days and then put it all in a video for you. But I figured I'd just show them to you after about a week. Actually, on second thought, I'm probably going to put the video clip I did on the morel mushrooms when I dug this area up. And put them inside of it. So that'll probably be it for this video. On our first update on my ginseng pen. Well I guess ginseng slash mushrooms now. But alright if you like this video. And you want to see more like it. And you want to follow up on the ginseng every year. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss a video on it. Remember to like, leave a comment if you want to, and share this video out. Let's try to get it to, I don't know, let's say 500 likes. But alright, this has been Chance with Missouri Outdoors. Have a good one you guys.